Are you someone who's stuck with pain? You've tried all types of treatment from specific exercises, strengthening weak muscles, stretching or releasing tight muscles. You've seen a bunch of clinicians like exercise physiologists, physios, chiros, osteos, trainers, and you've followed all the advice from popular rehab gurus that everyone follows on Instagram. And their advice makes complete sense, but you still have pain. So here's an opportunity to pause and reflect on some of your experiences. And I invite you to do so with curiosity and understanding and slow down so you don't rush through it. Three questions. All of the specific exercises and the focus on your technique, the release work that you do pre and post workouts for recovery. How long do these work for? Often these pain reduction approaches can be very helpful in the short term. But for you, from your experience, this is unique to you. How long does the pain relief last? So doing all these things to be pain-free, what has it cost you? In terms of time, money, energy, effort, relationships, work, mental health, missing out. Has it made your life better or worse over time? So I encourage you to look back on all the things that you've tried to be pain-free and take a moment to reflect on this. Pause the video if you need to. You've tried everything. You found ways to get short-term relief, but in the long term, you still have pain and it keeps coming back. It's common to feel like shit. This is a really rough and hard realization. You're not an idiot, even though if your mind is like my mind, my mind will be telling me I'm a fucking idiot. No one can call you lazy. Most of what you've tried, all of these treatments are still widely recommended by people like me too. And they can help a lot of people in their specific context and for their bodies. So in the short term, technique, form fixes, all these treatments can work for temporary relief. But unfortunately, from your experience in the long term, they don't work. So sadness, anger, fear, frustration, these are normal human reactions when we realize that what we've been trying really hard to do just isn't working. If your partner or your best friend was caught in the same trap, and cycle as you for so long, and it wasn't their fault. They're just doing everything that professionals, well-intentioned, caring, good-natured people around them were telling them to do, and they're still caught in a pain cycle. And your best friend or partner, they were feeling exactly what you're feeling right now. What would you say to them? So by looking for a pain fix and trying so hard to get rid of it and only getting short-term relief. This sucks. You've tried so hard, but nothing works to get rid of pain flare-ups and setbacks. So personal anecdote here, advice for my former self, don't skip this step. This was my mistake. I didn't want to face this realization myself when I had persisting knee pain back in my soccer playing days, in my early twenties and my late teens. Shoulder pain four years ago. I was traveling. I was seeing everyone I could, all the sports specialists, doing my 30 minute warm up routine. And even I had a back pain flare up about a year ago, and I still struggled with it. Pain is unpleasant, it's shit. And trying to fix it is normal, it's human. And a lot of pain treatments and approaches have certainty. They have answers. They address that vulnerability when we have pain. And they are trusted sources. So I thought that I just needed the right technique adjustment, the correct program, the strength and mobility first. And something was wrong with me or my body or what I was doing. 
So you're not alone in this. You've been fighting pain for so long and the cycle of pain treatments have taken a toll on you and your body. So are you open to something that's completely different? But it's not easy and it's different to everything else that you've tried. So you can practice skills to better manage pain setbacks and flare-ups and do the things and the activities that matter most to you, individualized to the kind of movements, activities, and things that you would be doing if pain was no longer an issue or less of a problem. Now, this process is not a quick fix, but it's a completely different approach to everything you've tried. So you have options. Now, if you're not willing and you feel like there's something missing, I understand. If you're willing and curious, reach out with a message. If I don't have the capacity to see you, I can recommend resources or a reliable clinician who can. You're not alone.